everyone it's Sean and Julie and before we talk about the rest of our exciting Saturday we wanted to sort of set the scene for you on how it all began so there we were Saturday morning laying in bed making sweet passionate love <laughs> and right when we were about to reach the climax we heard like this thunderous noise from outside and I thought it was the gods of love clapping for my great performance but it actually turned out to be a tree falling on the rv in the truck so the disappointment started from there so let's show you what happened as you can see here it was actually a limb that split off from the trunk of the tree and then fell on the front cap of our rv and the bed of our truck it looks like the tree had some disease where it split and fell and the reason that really took it over was the wind was blowing a steady 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 50 miles per hour. We were at a military campground, so they sent out the troops, first with the military police, then with the fire chief, and they also sent out the base civil engineer to check out the tree. So as you can see, it really hit the bedroom slide and slid down and then it was mostly in the bed of the truck so we had to wait for them to chop down the tree and get the limbs off before we could assess the damage so once all the limbs were moved out of the way we were able to climb on the roof first and just see some minor scrapes also on the side of the RV, both on the paint and on the decal, there were different scrapes and gouges, but the biggest marks were on the truck, just a lot of dents and scratches again in the paint. They did decide it was unsafe to leave the rest of the tree because it was moving around pretty much pretty bad in that high wind. So the civil engineering folks uh, got their bobcat and just took it down. So there you have it. We're standing in front of the remains of the tree. Back there's our RV and all's well that ends well. See you next time. Safe travels. <laughs>